Scenes from Episode 5, Season 2, Make or Break on Apple Plus TV streaming. Episode 5, the first episode after the mid-season cut. Gabriel Medina out in the water with Callum Robson and Maxime Husno. This happened during the break. This was a great way for Medina. And this is what we expect for him. Come out the gate swinging. Very nice inverted backside turn right there. And the wave kind of dying it out. He's sticking to it and getting one more vertical turn and going into the closeout. What is he going to do? Just trying to manage <laughs> that, but it just got eaten by the wave. But nice barrel, nice ride, nice start for him, 7.33. And yesterday was one of the most off I've actually seen Gabriel in a heat. He had a shocker of a heat, not expected for him. Um, but today, way more challenging positions, but he started very good. Yeah, whole different ball game today for Gabe Medina. That 7.3. Shumbino Drauchianka is on his way to another good result. Yes, he is. And Gabriel looking for that as well. Um, take off and kick out, just trying to find those little corners that we've been talking about and even Kelly spoke um, that there's just such a borderline of like being too deep on conditions like today because it's so much water moving or being too far in the shoulder so he's just trying to sniff everything that comes his way former champ out here at Super Tubos he took that win in 2017 oh we go on a thick one there Callum Robson going for it Wow. That was a missed opportunity. That, was, that had great scoring potential. Probably the best wave we've seen in Gabriel. <laughs> Medina just under priority spins around on that one and uh, makes the drop. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to go on hold here for a little bit, but it actually could be a good call with, the, with a little bit more water in the, re, in the bank. Um, it might, we might have some great waves in the, we see up and right in Callum right now. Callum Robson. A couple of carves on the backhand, can't hang on to the finish, so he's going to lean on that first turn on the backhand for his score. Robson has a 1.43 for a brutal wipeout earlier in this heat, and he's going to get a second score on the board. Actually wasn't a bad choice. The wave was pretty clean. He came off the bottom, did a nice wrap, and right here, just I felt like the backwash as he was bottom turn made him lose the rail a little bit. He extended his front foot a little too much, and then he just kind of lost balance and hit it a little like in a weird position that last turn. See right there? A little backwash just made him be in an awkward position and it just didn't help him. But there's also some rips and some type of a barrel wave and it looks like they're piling up. Looks like a good double up. Here we go. Maxime in a cavern. Travels through that one. Goes complete. That's what he needed to do. That was beautiful. Good airdrop right there. The wave got so thick and actually grew throughout the wave. Almost um, looked like a backdoor type of wave. Drawing down the line and um, he got pretty deep out there. Came out clean. He's going to get a great score for that wave. Ended up getting smoked in the end. The wave doubled up. He tried. There's the far bar. There's Medina. Medina with priority in the red jersey. Look, likes the looks of this one. Here we go. He's going to go left. Pulls it off to take off. And that one just goes dry in the barrel, clamping down on the three-time world champ. But you saw the intent of what Medina's looking for. 2009 world junior champ and championship tour rookie Maxime Husno getting caught up right here with Maxime. Backup score is on the way. And Maxime able to finish that one off. To a great right, 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 right there for Max. Um, um, as you see him piling up right here, he's very in the shoulder of that wave. So look how he had to fade back and really try and apply that pressure in the back foot to get vertical and just finish it off pretty nice. That was so tough to do. Um, he's definitely going to get a good backup score and head into the lead. Yeah, already has that 7.77. We're waiting for a second score for Maxime Husno. Just a 1.13 is going to get him into the lead. He gets more than that. And Gabe Medina gets a little bit more tube time. Medina, the machine, coming into play right now. So just as Maxime Husno takes the lead with a 3.07, Gabe Medina answers back. He wants to regain that lead. Medina needs a 3.52 to regain the lead in this elimination round heat number four. Smaller wave, but look how he's 
um, butt dragging right there, coming out with the speed. So that's very important for the judges. That shows how deep he was in the barrel. And just the rest of the wave didn't have much to offer, a lot of whitewash. Just the skill set of Gabe Medina as we look at this from above. One of the, one of the best backhand tube riders in the world, maybe of all time. And so he has just this long list of different skill sets and backhand barrel riding definitely is one of them. Check this out, just getting almost buckled off by that stall. So what happens is when you're, when you're butt dragging on backside, um, as soon as you hit the wall, with waves like this, there's so much power and it's so heavy that it almost feels like you're hitting concrete. So that wave bounced him back. He almost fell, but he was able to regroup. And Callum looks like he's gone on a bomb. Here we go, Callum Robson digs into this one. Drops in, drains through this section, spit and the exit for Callum Robson. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that has to be something around the 10 point right it has to be let's give away a yeti tundra 110 cooler wow that was <laughs> impressive and like i was saying before he was so good the last few days just finding diamonds in the rough and right there he just showed it looks like the game was almost over for him with guys with very big first course <laughs> mostly in a day like today and he just dropped it down oh my gosh that thing was so thick looked like off the wall on like that was crazy just bottom down he was so late to the party it looked like he was gonna nosedive but he somehow managed to press his back foot and just engage those fins and drive through that huge barrel and amazing spit too which is an extra bonus for him oh the judges didn't take too long they know what they're seeing <laughs> The Red Bull competitors area, they love it. A perfect 10 for Callum Robson and a Yeti 110 cooler. The first one we're going to give away this year. Well, I hope you're entertained because we sure are. That was a really, really exciting heat with excellent surfing, lots of drama, good times. Perfect 10. What more can you ask for? Look at the numbers there. 13.16 for Gabe Medina. Look at that glaring perfect 10 for Callum Robson. Both surfers moving on into the round of 32.